Well, I remember my father buying it along with a lot of mess silver. He was a, in the Royal Scots Fusiliers. Right. And the regiment was going to India, and my father retired. That was in 1935, I think. Right. And he bought this and several other pieces, which I didn't keep when he died. I sold them because, quite honestly, insurances and everything else yes. was too much. Yes. But I've always loved this. I'm not surprised, actually, because looking at it very quickly, my initial reaction is a spoon warmer. Absolutely. Uh, and then you get a big surprise when it you yeah, open the lid. <laughs> this is it, because now... A money box? Yes, a swear box on the oh, table. Oh, a swear box? Yes. Oh, is that? Is that... And anybody that swore had to put Do you, do you know what there. they had to put in? No, I don't. <laughs> well, I suppose earlier you could have put a sovereign in. Absolutely, yes. And that would soon add up. I don't up. know what date it is or how old it is, actually. Well, the first of all, of course, the, it does straight away beg the question, is it original or not? The fact that well, it is Well, this is what I'd like to know. Yes. Now, it's... And here's another surprise, actually, because normally if you get a spoon warmer of this form, which there are many around, yes. they're electroplated. Yes, and that's silver. This is silver. Yeah. But there's another surprise, <laughs> because it's Irish silver. Really? So what is the Scottish regiment doing with, with an Irish? Piece of Irish? <laughs> I well, wouldn't know. Well, the date of this, here we are, it's Dublin, 1866. Right. There has to be a reason for it. But I know it. definitely it was the swear box. Right. And actually the maker there... Actually, the maker, funny enough, is this, this mark over here, which is the JS. But we've got the name West appearing mm -hmm. underneath there. Yes. And it, this is something they did in, in Dublin. You would get the maker, as we've got there, and then you'd get the retailer putting his stamp on. Right. Little lock, of course, being the buddy inside, obviously it has to be locked up. Yes. No key, I'm afraid. It should be pretty easy to find yes, a key. It'll be a very, it'll be a very basic very key for basic, that. Yes. Um, but interestingly, it's marked also, if you see, in the lid there. Yes. Now, that confirms that the lid is original yes. to the Nautilus shell. Yes. It's, a be it's lovely the way they've done the flush hinge Beautiful. there as well. Yes, I think it's lovely. Because had this been a spoon warmer, either it would have been left open... Right. Some do have lids, but they have a slot cut at the front yes. for the spoon. Yes. So this convinces me... That it is a swear box. That it was made as a swear box. Yes. So, fascinating object. I have to say it's a very difficult object to put a value on. Have, okay. have you got it insured or anything? It's... Yes, it's... In, uh, it, well, I mean, it's in the household insurance. I have. Oh, just... I mean, it's not specified. No, no. no. Um, I suggest you perhaps insure it for somewhere around 5,000. Really? Yes.